This is a video overview of our 8-port PoE switch. It is a desktop switch that is meant to be placed in an indoor environment on a flat surface. And you can also put it vertically, of course, in an indoor environment. What makes it stand apart from the crowd are two things. One, on the right-hand side, you've got two uplink ports. A lot of desktop 8-port PoE switches do not have those. This one does. They are 100 megabits uplink ports. And then on the back, you feel you will find that there is a little dip switch on the left-hand side. If you take a look at it closely, there are four different options there. The most important option that I think most people use is the number two option. You would just basically flip the dip switch into the number two position. That lets you basically turn these all these eight ports into extended PoE without needing a PoE extender to send power preferably over solid copper CAT6 cable up to 250 meters away to a device that's using about 6 watts or less in power. So with IP cameras that are fixed lens, something like this one here, uh, this less, needs less than 6 watts. You can run this up to 250 meters away. You can run 8 of them on all 8 ports. Uh, using CAT6 cable, that's UL listed solid copper, up to 250 meters away. So the first eight ports are, of course, PoE. The last two are uplink ports, like I mentioned. In the box, you will get a AC power cord that plugs into 110. Okay. And also the power supply. It is a larger, large device. Size comparison here. All right. It connects to the back of the switch. And once you have that, you simply plug it into power by plugging this into the 110 socket right there and then plug it into the wall. Thank you for watching this overview of our state port PoE switch with extended PoE transmission capability. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.